We're going to talk about electrolysis today and we're going to talk about the electrolysis machine and also if we have the time uh, we're going to talk about consultation forms. Uh, electrolysis is a form of hair removal. Uh, it works with a machine that uses radio frequency. There are different uh, methods of electrolysis, but therapists normally use two, two main me methods of electrolysis. One is called the diathermy. Um, diathermy, it's a direct current. Uh, it takes one second or one second and a half to treat one hair. Then we have the blend system which is called the blend because it blends two um, microcurrents together. One of them is the galvanic and the other one is the thermolysis. Um, this is not a direct current. And the blend system takes five seconds to treat one hair. Uh, it's much slower obviously than, than the diathermy. Uh, the good thing about the, the blend system is also not only can treat any hair but it's very good for stubborn hairs or for curled hairs because it's a current that comes out almost like on a zigzag so if a hair is curled is it, it, it you know when we insert a needle into the hair follicle um, that doesn't always mean that the hair follicle is going to be there so because when it's a curled hair it might be so uh, you know a bit further away so it because it's a current that comes out on a zigzag it's more likely to catch the hair follicle than the diathermy so that's why it's more effective on, on curled, curled hairs um, the, the, the blend system because it's not a direct current uh, the client needs to hold this metal probe which is the earth so that the current can go through so these are the two main methods of electrolysis uh, how the treatment is done. Um, we have a machine that works, like I've said, with radio frequency. Um, this machine has got the, the ones who do diathermy and, and, um, and the blend system. Um, they have the thermolysis, that, that's what the, 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 uh, the, the, the diathermy uses. And then we've got the timer in the middle, which is we, we have to put the time that we want for each hair. Uh, and then on the left side, we've got the galvanic to be used in conjunction with thermolysis when we do the blend system. Um, so this uh, machine, it's normally, they are normally small machines. Uh, and like I've said, they use the radio frequency. Uh, the needles they are disposable uh, and they have numbers depending on the thickness of, of the, the needle. Uh, we're going to use the needles depending on the thickness of the hair as well. So the thicker the hair, the thicker the needle we're going to use as well. Um, we also need to do this treatment a pointed tweezers, proper for electrolysis, because when we treat the hairs we then pull out the hairs with the tweezers um, and the hairs should not offer much resistance and they should come out quite easily. If they don't, we need to leave them, we need to treat other hairs and then come back to those ones we've treated initially and see if they're going to come out much easier than now. When we're doing the treatment, uh, not only we use the disposable needles, we also use the pointed tweezers. We also use disposable gloves. Uh, we need to use uh, face, uh, there are some, depending, there are different brands of, but we need to clean, cleanse the skin properly in order to remove any, any grease or any, any um, creams that the client might have or perfumes or anything like that. We want the, clean, uh, the, the skin to be completely clean uh, so that we can do the treatment without infecting the skin. 
Uh, after the treatment, we normally use aloe vera gel, which is one of the best things, unless if the client is allergic to aloe vera, we have to use another product. Um, there are different ones in the market. Um, I personally use the Sterex machine and I use the Sterex creams as well if I need to, if the client is allergic to uh, aloe vera gel. Uh, so we do the treatments and uh, one thing is very important to understand and to bear in mind all the time, uh, that the area that we have treated uh, once it's treated, we need to leave that area for four weeks before we can treat that area again. We, because electrolysis, it works with the microcurrents, going to leave obviously the skin quite sensitive, uh, red. You can sometimes uh, see some swelling, some scabbing. Some there are some things that might happen after the treatment. So we need to leave the skin completely alone for four weeks, apply, carry on applying the aloe vera gel. If it swells up, I normally recommend clients to uh, apply some ice, which it's proven to be very, very good. Um, then we can treat that area again in four weeks' time when we have new hairs coming through. Um, clients very often, obviously, when they come for a consultation, they ask, how many treatments they're going to need. Uh, I don't ever like to talk about numbers um, because everybody reacts differently and uh, everybody's different uh, and everybody responds differently to different treatments. Uh, but uh, I normally say that people, at least in treatments they're going to need, the hairs are not going to disappear just like that. Before they disappear, they start becoming very thin, uh, they take longer to come through, and those those signs are very good, it's showing us that something is happening and that the electrolysis is working. But everybody responds differently uh, to the treatment because also uh, when, the, when the client um, comes for help, on a therapist to, to remove these hairs is already most of the time, 99% of the times I've been doing lots of wrong things to this hair. One of them is pulling out with the tweezers, where 99% of the times you pull out the hair with the tweezers, you're going to break their hair. So you're going to stimulate hair growth, uh, the hair is going to become thicker. You're not going to only pull that hair, most of the times you, put out, you pull out other hairs around that one, and obviously Therefore, you carry on stimulating other hairs to um, break and, and, and to become thicker and then to, to, you know, and that's where people start to understand, think, oh, I've got much more hairs than what I used to have like a year ago. Yes, because you've been pulling out those hairs and you always think sometimes that you're pulling out always the same hair when it wasn't that, it, you know, you're pulling out other hairs and, you know, so... It's so the best thing to do to the client or to say to the client is leave the hairs alone. Don't do anything to the hairs until you see me again. Um, this is very difficult for the client to do, obviously, because uh, the clients, they don't want to see the hair, especially if it's on the face. It's, they, they don't feel very confident and comfortable with the hairs there. And so they always have this thing of going in and, you know, removing these hairs. Um, so the best thing to do is to leave the hairs alone until you see the therapist again and go from there. Um, when the client fill up, fills up the form for the, the electrolysis, uh, they normally have to leave their, their some details. These forms, they, have, they are confidential, they have to be kept uh, in filing cabinets. Uh, and locked once you finish your job for the day and uh, because they are confidential and uh, we have to be very uh, careful with um, with clients forms or consultation forms and anything that's written in their forms so the the, the therapist has to be very careful about um, how to handle these uh, these forms and how to keep them um, 
safe and locked 